This is a yeah. match that doesn't need a lot of hype or description. Just look in the ring. This is going to be an incredible six-man tag match. The newfound focus of Andrade Almas has brought him great rewards as of late. Well, you may call it focus. I call it finding the perfect balance between work and play. Nail it. Look at this. Ring rattling. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Boom, what impact! Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions, don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. If we're talking about three-man teams, I need to shout out one of the baddest trios of all time who held the World Six-Man Championship on a number of occasions. I'm talking about the American Dream Dusty Rhodes and the Road Warriors. When the Dream put on the face paint, you knew it was going to be a bad night for their opponents. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times... Oh, nasty impact. Can he finish the job? How's almost going to survive? I don't think he is. Big slam. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. How's Almas going to survive? I don't think he is. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times, the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure in what was a six-man tag match breaks down into a Pier 6 brawl. If you don't keep an eye on the referee's count, you could get counted out and be the reason your team loses the match. I can see Byron making that mistake and ruining it for everybody. Ricochet has certainly made an impression on the scene of sports entertainment. Ricochet's unique gifts are no accident. Since his teens, he's possessed the desire to fly as a... Devastating kick! Just when you thought he had nothing left. You expressed Ricochet's design. What a scary drop. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Ooh! Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations could be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, false count anywhere, or whatever else someone could think of. Matches can also be held in a caged environment. Running Hurricane Rana! Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction, or three superstars of the line because of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to act as one cohesive unit, three individuals working collectively at all times. So much can take place during a six-man tag match. Regardless of what type of match the teams of three are competing in, the and he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Ricochet carried a revered reputation upon being signed by WWE, and I must say, all of his acclaim is well warranted. Watch any highlight of Ricochet, and you will instantly realize that he lives up to his billing. Harsh impact. Face buster. Oh, it's over. Touching again on Ricochet's reputation coming into WWE, Ricochet gained so much of his popularity outside of WWE. But since arriving on this stage, he's taken his game to a whole new level. And he Ooh. has to, Byron. Because if you ask me, he came here with a bit of an 
overblown reputation. I mean, as I become more seasoned as a journalist, I grow more and more skeptical of internet darlings like Ricochet. Nakamura seems to have lost a step now. He looks incredibly motivated, though. Don't expect him to be down for long. It's hard to tell at this point, but perhaps the unpredictable oh. nature of this match is too much for him to overcome. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point, but that can obviously all change here. He wants no part of the outside. Rusev is tagged in. Not the uh -oh. oh my goodness, crushing it. Rusev with a running super kick. Here's his moment, Michael. You gotta believe this one's over. Beautiful technique. Belly to belly. Look out, he's almost there. there it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grahams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Got the reversal. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Mustafa Ali prides himself on being a role model for everyone to follow their dreams and be the best they can be. It's all about defying preconceived notions and showing the power of ambition. Fellas, I almost got that warm, fuzzy feeling inside just then. Then I remember that this industry is about winning. Ali needs to worry more about that. I want to add to the discussion of Mustafa Ali as a role model. You know, this is a guy who has shown time and time again that you can be a winner in WWE, but also earn the respect of everyone around you. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I got respect for Mustafa Ali, but when he lets opportunities like the Cruiserweight Classic and his WrestleMania title opportunity slip away, I lose it bit by bit. At some point, he needs to learn that glory beats adulation. And oh, here man. comes the big Bulgarian. Elbow drop with authority. He's on his heels. This may very well be one of his toughest challenges in a very long time. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos, and all six superstars duke it out inside, and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time, you must return to the ring before the referee's 10 count or risk being counted out and lose the match for your team. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times, the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure in what was a six-man tag match, breaks down into a pier six brawl. And if you don't keep an eye on the referee's count, you could get counted out and be the reason your team loses the match. I can see Byron making that mistake and ruining it for everybody. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations can be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone could think of. Matches can also be held in a caged environment. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction. The three superstars of the line. Oh! Oh! Game 
set match. And he goes for the pin. Two. Three. Ooh, what impact. Oh, boy, he is rolling. No, another reversal. Neither one of them are willing to give an inch here. It's pretty obvious that by the way that Rusev applies the accolade, our true American hero is looking to do a lot more than win the match. Rusev wants to seriously injure his opponents, each and every one of them. Incredible impact. We may be looking at our winner here, guys. He's stalking his opponent from the top turn. Look out. That one fails to connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. We've seen Rusev just... There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Looks like Rusev's in a bit of trouble here. He needs to find a way to get on the offense. Rusev with a running super kick. This match might be over, guys. But now, can Rusev capitalize on this? Oh, boy, he is rolling. Wow, Aleister Black able to avoid damage there. When a superstar is in a six-man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this program, but it's more than that. You don't want to try to do too much when you have other members of your team out there. Oh, continuing to punish them. Uh-oh. Well, I think I know what's coming next. Black Mass! That should do it. Boy, here's a cover. Corey, you spoke about when a superstar is in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team has the ability to do that. We've seen many times over the years that a superstar's inability to do that has cost their team the match. We've also seen over the years that not all superstars play well with others. Some competitors are so dedicated to singles careers that when they are put in a six-man team, they become a bit lost. That's when a mistake could be made, and it could be very costly. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match, but it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict will ever be the same. Oh boy, he is rolling. This might be it. Oh my. Whoa, Rusev dodged that one. He wants no part of the outside. Alistair Black with a nice reversal. Oh, nasty impact. Boom, what impact. Teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six man tag team match. Oftentimes, we'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. You gotta believe this one's over. Beautiful technique. Gets the tag. After that attack to the back, nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy.
We've got to be nearing the elimination soon here, guys. And no luck against Ali there. Good try. Beautiful side Russian leg sweep. Putting it all on the line. Look at this. Oh, boy, he is rolling. And what a reversal from Rusev. Regardless of how this one ends, all six of these superstars should be proud of this effort here tonight. Rusev with a running super kick. This might be it. Oh, my. The, ball, the accolades locked in. That's what he was looking for, Michael. This is Rusev's match now. He broke out of it. Boom! <laughs> the Bulgarian brute is back in this. This is Rusev's match now. Boom! This has been a battle. Harsh impact. Impactful. It will jar your spine. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Just launched. Trust me, if you're a WWE superstar, this is not where you want to be. No way. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Nakamura able to avoid damage there. He goes down hard. Yeah, he's not looking very good at this point, Cole. Ooh, what impact. Takes him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. Beautiful! Ah, oh, what a neck breaker. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. What a strike. Nakamura is going to have to act fast here to stay in this. He's absolutely running on fumes right now. Let's not write him off yet. Remember, his opponent isn't necessarily whistling Dixie either. A second. This might be it. Oh, my. The Bulgarian brute is back in this. It looks like Rusev. The accolades locked in. Just when you thought he had nothing left. A move like that can almost snap a superstar in half. Ooh, what impact. The Bulgarian brute is back. Ooh, that kick could be a game changer. The Bulgarian brute is back in this. I don't know if Ali can recover. I doubt it. <laughs> Flash. He's going for it all. Whoa. This has been a war. Nailed it. Not today. Man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Beautiful technique. Oh, and he reverses it. Beautiful tandem drop kick. This is attack. Looks like he wants back in this match. That certainly looks to be the case, Michael. Look at this! This, has has been eliminated. this one's over, guys! And Rusev quickly kicks out. Yeah, this early, no chance. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Oh, look at his aggression in the corner. Boot right in the jaw. Yeah, let's hope he can keep this kind of effort going. Good grief. 
Inverted power slam. Wow. The king of strong style with a massive slam. Shinsuke Nakamura. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. Will it be? Two. Oh, how resilient was that? Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Both teams working well here together. That's not always the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you'll see personal agendas eat their way into the action. Quick thinking by Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura with a nice reversal. A oh, torturous knee. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He goes for the cover. Two! And he got a near fall out of it. Ali with the kick out. That is why Mustafa Ali is one of 205 Live's best. Oof, right to the back. Shinsuke Nakamura just too fast for him. It's like trying to fight smoke. Back now inside the ring. He's not going to like this. Here we go. Kinshasa. If that does, Nakamura might have it right here. He's making a statement here with this attack. Gets the shoulder up. Wow. What's it going to take? I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to cap? Nakamura might have it right here. Two, three. has been eliminated. You gotta believe this one's over. Harsh impact. Oh boy, he is rolling. We've got to be nearing an elimination soon here, guys. Oh! He wants no part of the outside. Cross body. Oh, what a slam that hurt! That has got to be it. Did you see the impact on that? Wow. Oh, oh, the incredible. Oh, what a six man tag match. Here are your winners Ricochet, Alistair Black, and what a great match and a huge victory to boot. That's a statement win, Michael. That's a win that says, hey, everybody, look at me. The arena is still buzzing over that great match.